Welcome back trainers and today I have a, another great treat for you. We're going to be taking a look at Xerneas. Yeah, I went there. I wasn't able to completely power it up. As you can see, I have 138 XL candies and I'm going to have to make some investment for regular candies with my uh, rare candy. So Xerneas, I'm going to have to say this thing was absolutely crazy. Now we are going with this 15, 15, 11, something like my Giratina because well, it's shiny and I just don't care. Let's just have a little fun here. Let's spin that Stardust. You only live once. Let's go for it. So it's going to be level 45.5. So it's not even completely maxed out. And we're going to be pairing it up with Giratina in the lead and Shadow Lugia, which is woof. Going to be equipped as best buddy and level 50. And I forgot how much of a beast Shadow Lugia is. My gosh, this thing is nasty. Bring out Steel type and it still does about half of your health. So, Xerneas, folks, are you kidding me? Did I have fun with it? Is it worth the investment? Yes, yes, and heck yes. This thing was absolutely amazing. Now, it took me several battles to kind of get comfortable with what it can do, what I'm able to get away with, what hits it can take at level 45, right? So... After my first initial like five battles, four battles, then it was over. Then I was just <laughs> on fire, having a blast. Folks, if you enjoy my content, please give it a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up for this legendary shiny that we invested in here. Let's go. Now, I don't know what was, what's up with the shiny color or why it shows the antlers like this here and then the catch screen. And then when you're just looking at it, it's blue. I don't know. I don't really care. It looks great either way. Or maybe I'm just uh, completely oblivious to uh, its color scheme and how it works. All right, folks. Like I said, give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. So I figured, okay, we're over 4,000 CP. Over 4,000 combat power. I think we're okay. And that we were. I'm going to have to say, it was still able to take hits and dish out that damage. So we're going to be going with Moonblast. Close combat. And Tackle. They have just buffed it so you can gain energy faster. And it does a decent amount of damage up against things that are not Ghost or Steel, I suppose. So folks, let's have a little fun here. Sit back, relax, got a good amount of videos here for you. And uh, you better believe I'm actually going to be bringing you some more battles later with it. So make sure you have notifications on. Stay tuned for that because we got part two for this thing because I had that much fun with it. Let's freaking go. And I made that investment. We're going to have a little fun. All right, so we're met with the Yavelto with our Giratina in the lead. And that's particularly not good at all because we do have the Lugia also weak to it. So we're going to go ahead and swap into our Lugia. And the retreating, which is perfect after hitting us with a Dark Pulse, doing a lot of damage. Now, Lugia is an extreme tank, as you can see here, going for Arrow Blast up against a Steel type, one of the tankiest, still doing a ton of damage and bringing them into the yellow and forcing them to throw before we get to another charge move here. Now, this is a good lineup, sort of. It really depends. Now, Xerneas is great. Now, what I'm thinking at this point is obviously they're going to be bringing in the Yoveltal. Now, we have to hope there's something that we can handle with Xerneas and Yveltal. So let's go ahead and see here. And they're swapping into a Lugia. So we still have two shields. And the way this thing attacks Xerneas is kind of silly. That's the only thing I don't like is just that constant like <laughs> headbutt, headbutt. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. It's no big deal, right? Uh, so as you can see here, taking a hit from Lugia Sky Attack. I mean, level 45 still worked for me. Okay. So good showcase if you're not able to get all those XL candies. And I know you're inviting me to these Xerneas raids and I'm missing them folks i'm sorry keep sending them so i can max this out i have to get this content going you yeah? know i gotta edit gotta do the whole commentary make the images so Lu uh lugia um giratina gets the boost here really trying to help us when i'm like all right buddy let's go yeah get that boost we got a uh Yveltal to take care of here <laughs> not very effective still doing a lot of damage and at this point i'm thinking okay 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 we can work with this Come on, Xerneas. Let's go ahead and tackle down. No more shields left. Shield up the Lugia. And we need to get to that Moonblast. This level 45.5 is actually putting in the work. Let's go. Now, I, I didn't despise this Pokemon before, but I had literally none. I had some XL candies. I did some of the raids because I just do the raids when you invite me. But it was useless before. But ever since tackle has been buffed, <laughs> it's actually crazy good. So we have a fantastic lead up against the Kyogre here. And we're going for that Shadow Ball. They're retreating with energy and bringing in their Dialga. Now here is a matchup that I was just doing all kinds of things. Letting the Iron Head go. Uh, building up to two close combats. Uh, just trying out Moonblast. And you can take a hit. Uh, but what happens a lot of times is 
you get hit by Iron Head and then all of a sudden they double shield and win that matchup. And so they can win swap. So I kind of slowed that down, but we're definitely going to be seeing that throughout this video. So in comes Kyogre. We're going to go ahead and let that Surf go and go for the close combat here, taking out their Kyogre. We're down a shield and they have a Togekiss in the back. So this is their last Pokemon. We can still win this, no problem. We do have Lugia, which is going to be doing not very effective with Dragon Tail, but it is a tank at the end of the day. And since they let that Shadow Ball go, it's pretty much a wrap. So I don't, I wouldn't say they were trying to two shield flex. If they were, that's fine. Hey, go ahead and do that, my friend. Go ahead and do that. So if they would have gotten the boost there, I think they caught it. They may have, could have, I don't know if they would have been able to pull it off still. But we're dragon tailing down with non-stab <laughs> on a Togekiss and taking the win with our Lugia. Next battle, we're met with a Dragonite. This is not good for us. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our Lugia. And again, they have a counter to it and it's going to be Metagross. But once again... We're going to be able to go for that Aeroblast and do a ton of damage. So, like I said earlier, Lugia is level 50 and equipped as best buddy this entire time here. I could equip Giratina, but I just wanted to bring out the tankiness of this Lugia here with already decent IVs. So, as you can see, kind of making them throw their energy as I could have just taken them out with a Sky Attack. But I kind of was thinking, you know what? Let's shield them up, farm them, farm them down with Dragon Tail. That we did. They bring in their Dragon Eye. <laughs> <laughs> and I got the alignment I wanted. That's it. There you go, Xerneas, go. And they have an Excadrill swap, and I bring in my Giratina. And I'm not going to say it's a wrap, but we're looking pretty good. This one actually gets very interesting and very close. They really try to pull this one off here. So let's see what they try and what they can do here. I'm still not in the clear. I'm using my last shield, and they still have two. Now, what's going through my mind at this point is... All I need to do is win this matchup. What's Dragonite going to do? Superpower me? Dragon Tail my Xerneas? Not happening. Unless they have Draco or Hurricane, then they're not going to be able to win. But it's not over yet. This is not enough to take us out. I figure they're going to swap here any moment. And there we go. We retreat with an ominous win, bring in the Xerneas, and they still got a shield left. So we're going to go for the Moonblast, of course. They let it go. <laughs> they knew it was over. And we tackle down the little mole and take that win with our deer. It just stomped it into the ground next battle another dragonite horrible lead swapping into our lugia and they're bringing in an excadrill so this thing all right until it gets a shadow form the excadrill it's going to take several rock slides to take out the shadow lugia just imagine a regular tanky lugia at level 50 is even going to be even tankier than this so a flyer that can just absorb rock slides is a little unheard of you got the Lugia just going to town here, and we're just going to keep on putting in this work. So we're looking great, going for another Sky Attack, and getting the first shield out of them. Don't remember, I think we let this go. We're going to go in here. Okay, we farm them down. We're going to try to farm them down. Shielding it up. All right, beautiful. Winning that matchup. One-to-one -one shield. Great. Still have both of our Pokemon looking good. They're bringing in Metagross. I'm trying to get to Aeroblast, and I go down with a ton of energy, and I smack myself on the head like, are you freaking kidding me? Wow, all right, but there's still hope. We're still looking good here. So they go for the Meteor Mash, we let it go. We swap into Xerneas when they bring in their Dragonite. And this is, I mean, we can let all this go. I kind of want to come out of this with energy. Dragon Claw, Dragon Tail, Dragon Breath, Super Power, Draco Meteor, it's all doing barely anything. So we take them out without farming extra energy here. And at this point I'm thinking, crap, did I just give them a free pass? But not quite. They're either gonna have to shield this up or the Giratina. And they let it go. They have no more health left. There's no way they have two Meteor Mashes. So we're just going to be able to farm them down with Shadow Claw Giratina. And take the win here. And again, Giratina is coming back at the end of the month. So I urge you to go ahead and do those raids. Because it's one of the best around for sure. Next battle, we have a great lead. Finally, up against a Mewtwo here. And they're going to be retreating into their Dialga. We're going to bring in our Xerneas. And have a little fun here. So, again, the Iron Head. You will survive with a decent amount of HP. If you're level 50 even more so this is a level 45.5 surviving that and like i said at this point now they're in the range of just simply farming me down by shielding this up but they let it go even better bring it in mewtwo and unfortunately they're taking me out by psycho cut and i was not able to get to that moon blast again we're wasting energy bringing in our giratina but we're still in a good position here so the side strikes doing a ton of damage i said it before and i'll say it again you can go for a shadow ball and then a Psy Strike, but it's kind of a waste of time. You might as well just go for Psy Strike, Psy Strike. Even if your opponent's weak to uh, Ghost. Unless you know you're going to KO them. Okay, alright. So they're swapping, what was that, a Togekiss? Okay, no problem. So we are going to go Shadow Ball. 
And we've already done that damage, so we're looking great. Bringing in the Lugia here. Yes, the Ancient Power is going to do a decent amount, but they hit me with an Aerial Ace. Hey, like I knew, we had to shield up anyways. Going for the Sky Attack, and we're taking out that Togekiss. In comes the Mewtwo, and we're playing, uh, well, Shieldless Battle on my, my end. But they don't want to. They back out, because they already knew it was pretty much over. Moving on to our next opponent, folks. Can you tell I'm excited? Oh, yeah. I was having a freaking blast. Another Mewtwo lead here. Oh, okay. This sounds perfect for me. Gonna build up to that Shadow Ball. And, of course, go for the Ominous win here. Because, well, we can still take them out like that. We don't need to go straight for the Shadow Ball. We figured they're gonna shield it up anyway. Letting the Psy Strike go. And they're getting to the next one, which we will shield indeed. This is the way you want to do it here. I mean, Shadow Ball is enticing. It brings you down low. <laughs> your opponent if they're ghost or weak to it but if it's metacross different story obviously so they're swapping and locking themselves and this was a i think a miss swap because i repositioned the pokemon's order in the back and i wasn't paying attention but we're able to still take them out with a moon blast great no problem and they're going to be able to take us out here xerneas did what it needed to do took out the togekiss no problem it's been putting in the work and it still will be putting in the work plenty ahead so let's see what's going on here. They have a Giratina. So we got the uh, classic battle here. We got Origin versus Altered here. And they're going to be shielding up the Shadow Ball. Looks like they're going to be able to farm us down. And we're going to get off one more charge move before we go down because we're not able to make it to the Shadow Ball as we have no health there. And we swap in. <laughs> is our Giratina still alive with like 1 HP? No, it went down. Okay. So Dragon Tail is going to be really doing a lot of damage here. And I just wanted to see the damage that we were going to accumulate before we had to finally shield. And it looks like we're not going to have to shield at all because this thing is just a freaking tank. And Giratina, more of a Pokemon that spans mediocre charge moves and it's just not enough to take us out. Next battle, we're <laughs> going to see a mirror match here. Shout out to uh, the person who uh, replied to me in my chat and Twitter saying good game. Uh, good game right back to you, man. Uh, I don't remember if it's this one or the next Giratina battle, but nonetheless, good game. And oh, by the way... <sighs> Look, I have to say something really quick about comments. Um, I just went through the ones that have been blocked, and it's been a minute since I actually checked those. And people who are actually a member of the channel, which means you support me every month with a specific pay amount, and you have a little icon next to your name, some of your comments were even getting blocked because of the words you're using. I'm, I'm sorry, I approved it, but just a little heads up to everybody. If you're going to use profanity... Sometimes it lets it go, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe put an asterisk sign and don't use the whole thing because that'll just sometimes automatically block the comment, okay? So I'm not trying to block or delete your comments. I'm going and approving them from a couple of weeks back. My bad. So just a little heads up, okay, if you want your comment to appear all the time. Uh, you know, I just, I do have profanity censored. Sometimes it gets goes through. I just don't want it to be a big cuss scene down below, you know? Anyway, uh, we got Lugia. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> a little disorientated. All right, so we have Landorus out here. We have uh, Xerneas just headbutting the heck out of it. <laughs> Man, I love this thing now. It, it was I, I have no regrets in investing in it. And the IVs that I invested in, like, ah, that's a little rough there. Not really. Nah, in, in HP, I don't care. What, a couple of quick moves that we're going down that we're not going to be able to take? That's fine. All right, so here's the, another Giratina matchup. Let's get back into the commentary. Uh, so they're retreating into Dialga, trying to maybe catch, but we're going to go ahead and hold on to our energy and bring in our Xerneas. Now, what we could have maybe done is thrown an ominous win because a close combat at the level that I'm at doesn't quite KO the Dialga. So first of all, we're shielding up the Iron Head, and unfortunately, they're getting to another one. So we've seen it before. We'll see it again, and it does a lot of damage, right? So now we're going to go ahead and throw both of these here. We got two, which we should be able to KO them within the range of health that they are in. They might survive with a couple of HP. Let's see. Yeah, they're double shielding. Exactly. See, there you go. That's the example I was trying to tell you. So they're immediately retreating into their Giratina after we do bring in our Lugia. Calling the Ominous Wind, which is great. They're shieldless, farming up a little bit of extra energy. I figure they're going to come back in here with their Dialga to Dragon Breath the heck out of us. So we needed a little bit more energy. And getting to the Shadow Ball, Giratina can still hold its own. Taking a lot of damage from that Dragon Breath, but it still dishes out that damage. And taking out the Dialga, what you got in the back? And Excadrill, oh yeah, this is a wrap. So basically all we need to do is shield this up, hit him with Shadow Ball. And it takes at least three Rock Slides to take out Lugia. So, yeah, they're not really looking too great here. I don't even know if they can even, you know, they're trying to the very end. Okay, well, props to you for staying and fighting until the very end. 
To your last breath, in goes Lugia and takes them out with a Dragon Tail. This team is a little bit OP, I have to say. Oh, shout out to this trainer again, catch him. Uh, we just battled him a couple of days ago and actually said, hey, nice pose because we don't see that too often. And that's what I, that's what, how I recognized you, is by that pose again, as well as that bright shirt that you got on there. So, uh, welcome to the channel again, my friend. Let's go. All right, so we have a Giratina matchup here. So I was just calling it and, you know, sneaking them through those Shadow Balls. So we're ahead, but down a shield, of course, after that uh, bait. And we're going to go ahead and throw Shadow Ball, bringing our Lugia into the Dialga, and they're retreating into a Melmetal. So, yeah, this is not particularly great, but since we do have Aeroblast and we're Shadow, and we can just absorb Rock Slides, we're still going to be able to put on the pressure, so it's not over. This is why Lugia is ranked so well. Now, not only that, but we just rose our attack, so we're going to be doing more. We could potentially take them out with a Sky Attack now. Can we get there? We do. Beautiful. So this will KO if they do not shield. Lugia still holding it down up against a Pure Steel type with Thundershock and Rock Side. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, that's just the power of it right there. All right, so Rock Slide's not enough. They bring in their Dialga. They take me out, but they've got no shields left. I bring in my Xerneas here. Now we have to call this. Do we shield this one up? I guess we do. We can take one more at this point. It's going to be bringing us very, very low. But unfortunately, I go for the close combat. Is this going to be enough? No. Can we take him out with quick moves? And we do. And then we take out. No. Well, yeah, we're going to take out Melmetal with quick moves. We're going to headbutt it with tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the steel types with a normal type quick move guys. Let's get it and gals moving it on here Leading with that Giratina met with a Mewtwo and this is again a good lead for us here Mewtwo can definitely fight back. It's not like it's completely vulnerable. So they do bring in a Girit or Dialga All right. All right. That works perfectly fine Like we were saying before it actually works out better if you throw the ominous wind because now you're gonna have a clean KO with this close combat there you go. Beautiful. Otherwise, they would have survived, caught off an iron head. We would have had a shield because of the lower defense. They would have won the swap if we didn't. And now we're looking good. So they're bringing in their Mewtwo, farming up a little bit extra here, which is fine. I don't mind at all. Taking me out with Side Strike, of course, and we're bringing in our Giratina. Now, I could have went with the Lugia, but I don't want to get hit by a Shadow Ball. And there's the Shadow Ball. So they're going to be swapping into their Zekrom. Okay, so this thing is Electric type, also Dragon. So they're going to be taking a lot of damage from our Dragon Tail. Seeing that we still have two shields, I think all we really need to do at this point is double shield and farm them down with Dragon Tail. And we're going to be looking just peachy, folks. And then we'll just unleash the Sky Attacks on the Mewtwo, and we're perfectly fine. They already threw all their energy. They're not getting to know Shadow Ball. And this is enough to take them out. As soon as we get that first shield, we're going to be in the clear here. Lugia holding it down every single time. This team is just putting in the work. I was having a blast. Actually, bring me up quite a quite amount of points, I would have to say. Uh, could have been better, but I was test running it for those first uh, couple of battles. And man, it was a little, not rough, but I was just seeing what I can do, what I can get away with. All right, so we're swapping into Lugia. They're bringing in a Metagross. <laughs> Same old song and dance. We've seen this a hundred times. So we will be letting this go because, well, Lugia can just absorb this, plus get to another charge move if it needs to because it is just so damn tanky. Going for the Aeroblast and getting a shield from Metagross. Ain't that something? That's just the power of Lugia for you, making those Metagross shield up while you just let those Meteor Mashes go. So we're going for a Sky Attack here, and then they take us out. Okay, no problem. So they have a bunch of energy built up. That's, that could, could be a bit of an issue. Uh, they're going to probably get to two. Let's see. So there's the one, and we'll have to shield this one up. So they've used the shield themselves, so I guess we're not in the complete red yet. And we're taking out one of the main threats to the Xerneas here. So they're bringing in the Dragonite. We immediately swap into our Xerneas, and there it is, a Excadrill. So how do we pull this one off, folks? Because it's getting a little bit crazy. Well, we're going to be debuffing ourselves by two stages once we go for close combat. And that's what we really need to do here. So unfortunately, I was a little bit slow. So, or I was just planning it out perfectly. So they're getting off another drill run. We're using our last shield. Going for the close combat. They let it go. And in goes the Dragonite. Now I have to swap. This is going to be very close. Or I don't even think I can swap. We're still locked here. Going for the Moonblast. Uh, obviously, this will KO. They're shielding it up. We swap into our... Giratina going for the Shadow Ball here and of course we're landing it and now we just need to get to the ominous win and we do ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up look out for part two because it's going to be very spicy thank you for watching and take care
sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.